stealth aircraft. Why was the the uh, big mercury mines that were found by Las Vegas, why were they confiscated? Mm, they run very deep, for one thing. They were used for uh, everything from atomic waste disposal to uh, 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 putting uh, bad news aliens in there making a little jail out of it, I guess, if you wanted to call it that. Uh, it's a good way of, uh, once again, hiding the problem from the public. So it's tied into the underground system where the mines were? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, they were just, where were they by? They were out, outside of uh, Las Vegas, I've heard. But, uh, they're over near Mercury, Nevada. You were talking about 129 of the underground bases and about half of them being used to house the aliens. What are the other half used for? The other half are used strategically uh, uh, by different military organizations, mostly uh, Army and Air Force and uh, Navy, uh, for uh, research and development laboratories predominantly, and also uh, medical research and development laboratories and chemical weapon laboratories. Once again, these bases have been built unceasingly, day and night, since 1940. And if you add up all the bases, all the cost of all the bases, it's uh, pretty close to a quadrillion dollars. How can they keep this so deep in the public? It's so uninformed, well, it's especially pretty easy. the people that live around the area. It's pretty easy to keep it away from the public. Uh, they've done a real good job of it. Uh, with the exception of people like myself that come out of the woodwork, uh, so to speak, uh, the public beliefs. Beliefs a lie, a big lie. Of course, you know the old tro uh, the old adage about lies is you have to keep telling them to keep, and, and then you get, you get to a point in time where you believe them to such a degree that uh, you become part of the lie, you live the lie. Is this where they do their cloning? Supposedly, a lot of these things are horrific beyond degree. Uh, uh, the traumatic events that I went through uh, caused me to get professionally taken care of by Bethesda Naval Hospital, among other places. And uh, uh, gave me something like uh, uh, battle stress or delayed stress syndrome. I learned to uh, slowly work my way out of that. It was not easy. What's going on in Weld County, Colorado with them um, having a lot of changes and also having the most cattle mutilations in the whole world? Cattle mutilations are government-sponsored alien operations and have been since they were first started in 1967. Actually, they were probably going on much earlier. And uh, they, uh, the upshot of that was the glandular, we allow the aliens to extract glandular secretions from animals, mixing them with their own. In exchange, we'll give them plutonium products for their drive, for their uh, spaceship drives, among making alien elements for them, and they give us the uh, biological weapons. Isn't that a nice, horrible scenario? So this kind of stuff is uh, bad news indeed. By the way, being a U.S. citizen in good standing, I can't stand it anymore. I think we can do better. And if our government officials will not vote, will not uh, uh, keep, 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 in other words, if they keep telling us the big lie, keep reporting the big lie, I think it's time we not only vote them out, we demand them out. We impeach them out. And if we can't do that, I advocate just what our founding fathers say. The federal government structure out of control is totalitarian slavery. And we must vigorously fight them out. And of course, 
trouble is with revolutions, folks, they always end up killing their own people. And I don't advocate the overthrow of my government. But right now, my government is not in touch with me, or you, or anybody else. And uh, it's kind of moot after that. What again was the number of uh, estimated alien downed craft? Pretty close to 800,000 all total. As we speak, the Russians are shooting down two a day per province within mother motherland Russia. The Southern Hemisphere, six per day. The United States, one per day. And uh, Europe, one per day. It's a full scale invasion. It's just because you don't see more of the White House. Uh, by the way, you wonder why why don't they, well, Billy Meyer sees them. But different, but first of all, of the 11 groups of aliens there are, four of which are benevolent, seven of which are very evil. Uh, he expound on the ones that are good that are benevolent? Well, uh, ones purported by Billy Meyer, the Pleiadians, uh, Pleiadians uh, from the seven star cluster of the Pleiades. Uh, that's one of the groups. There's another group from the other side of Orion, another group uh, from uh, about 3,500 light years out, supposedly still with us. Uh, I don't remember their name offhand, but they're a very small individual human-looking, but childlike, but very large cranium, very large heads, uh, IQ is off the scale, and they can do no wrong. They're of the angelic type there. They don't fly around with little wings or anything, by angelic, I mean, but they can't do wrong. They physically can't do wrong. Fire. Spielberg. They weigh about 30 pounds. 18 years. About the fourth one. Well, the fourth one is a is a is a is really two groups, and uh, they're extremely tall individuals. They're ocean, predominantly ocean, uh, deep ocean. Uh, they live in deep oceans, and they basically harvest our our uh, minerals, and then they're kind of you can see they're always in oceans of below 20,000 feet. They're these uh, two tiered antennas down. And of course, our submarines have found them years and years ago. Uh, in fact, during World War II, some of the submarine uh, warfare and encountered several at very shallow depth. Uh, they didn't know whose weapon or, or whatever they were. Are the aliens our biggest threat or is our federal government the biggest threat? Both are our major threat at present time. It's bad enough we have one, we have a little one too. Does, does World County, Colorado have an underground base in that area? Colorado has three underground bases, uh, one at DIA. Uh, I believe what you mentioned, what, what was it, Weld? Weld County is the biggest, one of the biggest counties in the yeah. United States. And I believe it's in the northeastern section of that county, if I remember. And I'd have to look at a map. I can identify every 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 base on a map. I have I have the latitudes and longitudes of such bases. And by the way, if I mention that, that does entail espionage. If I mention all of them, and I cannot do that to the ground, and I want to keep on talking as much as I can. So I'm not, that's one thing I promise to do, but I have to break my promise, and I'll tell you that I was wrong. I, was, I encountered something when I was back in case I could look at things up there. You'll have to speak. I, 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 I visited Minnesota. I was coming back and I decided to take a different route to get off the interstate and take the U.S. Highway 36 across northern Kansas. And about 20 miles from the Colorado border, there was suddenly some construction. The construction 36 was completely cut off. And detours went way around. I didn't do that. I just went down the front. I set it over that area. About, I guess, 15 minutes later, I saw a strange formation of clouds in perfect crystals. Mm -hmm. They're uh, 
and, and, and I was convinced there's something where they were actually and it, there's uh, used to cut off the US highway. The name of those clouds is all if I can interrupt is also cumulus lenticulatus or lens shaped clouds. Almost always predominantly uh, there are two kinds of clouds. The kind if you go up to Virginia City sometime in April or May, you'll see these clouds that come right up, up roaring up to a steep mountain. You'll look at them and they'll just disappear. You'll cease to go over your shoulder, it's nothing. It's kind of a that's also cumulus lenticulatus A. And the B kind it almost looks as like a black uh, thunderstorm like cloud and they always have metallic discs in the center and if you uh, take a, a, your camera your eye won't probably see them the camera will pick up uh, metallic uh, uh, dots within that cloud structure and those dots can be professionally analyzed and you come up with the you'll come up with the uh, uh, will come up with the conclusion of the earth flying disc I probably ever see those clouds more than 23 miles from now. I at that point was at least 200 pair miles, straight line distance from long speed. So I, I, I had spotted, spotted such in Portland, Oregon, and took pictures submitting it to a TV radio station. A TV radio station. It never got on the air.